end our last story of the night or day. Again, the last story of the show, uh, of the episode. The show's still going. Of the episode. More toku um, for Matt. More toku for Matt. That's what it is, really. But not <laughs> more toku for Matt. This is what's the strange oh. thing about... No, because this is very strange. And we're going to talk about this. Because uh, I think we talked about this before we actually did the podcast a little bit. Very little. A while ago. When I was sending you these articles. So there's a company called Toku. And it's basically... There's a company called uh, Olympusat. And they have a television channel called Toku, which is like, oh, that's awesome, right? right. And they actually licensed Ultraman Leo, which is like, oh, dang. Like, no one's ever released that in English before. Subbed. Um, that's the thing, too, by the way. I'm not, I'm going to, like, not endorse piracy here, but just talking about fan translations uh, and stuff like that. There are a lot of Ultraman shows that there aren't even fan translations for. Like, right. that is how underground... And also, obviously, these shows are long as well. But that is how underground Ultraman can be, right? Compared to, like, Super Sentai, Kamen Rider, Power Rangers. I mean, even people have, like, looked into the Japanese version of Power Rangers. Not Super Sentai. The Japanese dub of American Power Rangers. And they've re put that online and subbed that a little bit. Not, like, crazy, but, like, just, like, clips here and there. And right. I've been like, oh, dang, <laughs> we've we've come this far. This is a Japanese dub of an American production of a Japanese product. <laughs> it's I'll like a dub. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <right? laughs> Bas basically, basically. Uh, but anyway, so where am I going with this? Well, the reason why I don't know if this is um, watchable for Matt not just because, because yes, it is a television channel itself. So you could mm -hmm. get it on select um, television, uh, like, well, TV packages. But none of them, by the way, are like, you know, the ones that you and I have or many people have. They're not even like channel 1000 or so, or not 1000, but like, you know, 500 right. on a package someone might have. So they're like really, it's a select channel. And also it's available mostly through streaming. Right. Uh, through like Amazon Prime, which believe me, you have Amazon Prime, that's great. You can also have Amazon Video, and I think stream it as well. So I'm not going to put down Amazon Prime or Video for uh, having this channel on their service because they're really trying to have their service be like a uh, cultivated kind of like a uh, uh, like a television package, like a video, like a cable package. So right. like when you pay for Amazon Video, it feels like you're getting well, <laughs> you used to get an anime channel, whoops, but you got like a um, uh, a tokusatsu or like a live action Japanese channel. You know, you have a channel based on this and that and all this other stuff too, right? But right. why is this weird to me? Well, first off, everywhere I look, every time I try to find out what toku is, because it technically is on television, it's called a television channel. Right. But no, you're not. You are. Legally, yes. But when... Well, because here's the thing. I'm not saying you have to be a CBS to be considered a television channel. That's silly. Right. Right? Like, Funimation had a channel. Sure, it was a couple bucks or I think even ten bucks extra to get the channel. But it's yeah. still a channel, right? Um, Access TV is still a channel. AXS TV. Even though I can't get it on my um, cable service, because I don't think it exists on my cable service, uh, I still like it because, it's A, it is a channel. And B, there's actually New Japan Pro Wrestling on there and a bunch of other cool stuff, right? Um... El Rey Network is a channel. Why do I like it? Lucha Underground is on there. I don't know why it's all about wrestling, but Lucha Underground is on there. Uh, but it's funny, though, because on Satish, fellow podcaster, let's player, on Satish's uh, cable package, he can't get El Rey, and I can't get access. So I'm like, do you want to trade houses for a day and just <laughs> and just watch pro wrestling? Um, but my point is, is that those are still channels, even though it is a bit harder to get them. This, right. from what I remember last I checked, there really are only, like two ways to get this channel other than Amazon. So it's just when, so when someone says like, oh, it's a channel, and I'm like, where? And they're like, oh, in these two areas. Also, you can get it on Amazon. I'm like, what you don't call like, like, you don't call Netflix a television channel. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like you don't call Hulu or Crunchyroll a television channel. Even if they had a small TV presence, it's just like, guys, like, I can't get them easily. Right. Uh, also, another thing, too, that I want to mention is what worries me a little bit. I'm a super huge fan, like a huge fan, of online streaming for things that might not seem viable 
to some for mainstream television or for DVDs. So in no way am I against online streaming, right? But my big issue with it, at least here, is that with something like Crunchyroll, obviously, look, anything can fall, anything can shut down if mismanaged, right? right. So it's not like Crunchyroll is going to be forever either. I do get it. It's not like the licenses can expire, things can't be taken away. I do get it. Although, to be fair, for anyone that says digital me uh, physical media is forever, disc rot does happen, and it's a sad thing, but it is true. But still, better physical than digital, in my opinion. Right, we we just, we just had that uh, conversation a little bit when we did the Capcom clip, uh, the Capcom article with the Nintendo Switch games. So why is this um, frustrating? Right, why am I frustrated here? Because even though it's not a technically a double paywall, I either have to play pay for Prime or pay for video. I do feel like it might not like because Amazon has shut down their anime streaming service without. A hint of guilt. Not that they should feel guilty. They're they're a business, right? But right. without a care in the world, just Mary Poppins is just you know, oh well, it happens. Let it float away. Because they did that, I feel weird about being like, oh man, let me put some money to, and try to watch all this Toku on Toku. Right. Uh, like it's it's troublesome and it's worrisome to me because again, tomorrow this can be gone, and then now we don't have the episodes anymore. Right. So, any that again, it wouldn't technically change if it was on Crunchyroll or on High Dive or on Hulu, right? Yeah. Again, the same thing. The same things can still happen, but um, but I do worry a little bit because it's just a random channel on yeah. Amazon service rather than it being its. I mean, to be fair though, maybe it being its own channel is good for it because it gets to mingle among other channels and not just be the only like Toku only. Where you right. know there there are there there are a lot of Toku fans in the U.S., but I don't know. I mean, I would I I personally think that there's enough to like fund a a separate just Toku it's only own, service. Right, yeah. I think there are, but at the same time, you know, it is good uh, to kind of have it mingle at least at this point. And it's even though it's funny, to, there have been Toku fans for years, so I don't want to call uh, U.S. Toku fans like say that it's in its infancy because that sounds really. Yeah. Uh, that sounds so, really stupid. Yeah, uh, right. and kind of uh, uh, condescending. However, U.S. Toku being legally available in the U.S., it is in its infancy, though. Right. We have to acknowledge that. Where the first, and if everyone's like, "How dare he?" Yeah. Well, you know what? <laughs> the only the only releases that I can think of before Shout Factory released Super Sentai in the U.S. The only releases that I can think of were sporadic, random. You know. Oh hey, here's Mast Rider, which is the uh, one uh, a common rider movie based on the original common rider series that not many people liked, and they were like, "Here's the Mast Rider." Media Blasters released it, and apparently it didn't really sell well, and right. they only released the first one. They didn't release the sequel, so that's one movie. Then I can think of things like uh, you know again like the Ultraman shows that randomly got released right before Shout Factory though there was one original and then there was tiga but again that was because freaking you know four kids were like let's dub this and put it on tv that was the right. only reason why i got yeah. a japanese release at all if they didn't do that it would have gotten released here um you know think about i mean I, I can just think of very very few where it's like hey this was a movie that also constitutes toku or this is a um a series that was you know released in the 70s that got one dvd release by a low budget a small run company that never re-released it again yeah. stuff like that little stuff that um you know it's nothing as big as a long-running franchise like oh of course common rider v3 kakaider and kakaider zero one were released by generation kakaida but we also have to remember that they're a hawaiian based company and those subs were out in hawaii back in the 70s so it was subbed on television back in the 70s in mm. Hawaii. So I'm sure that's why that happened. And again, it was only one common rider. Right. And and the entirety of Kakaida, which is good, to be fair. So it's not like this really picked up until Shout Factory was like, we gonna do this. Right after they released those few Ultraman, they were like, nah, we, we, we gonna do this. And then they yeah. did. 
And then all of a sudden we have Crunchyroll with their Ultraman. And we have High Dive with uh, Garo. And then we have Kraken releasing multiple Garo uh, either uh, seasons or OVAs on Blu-ray. Like, oh damn! Right? So in that regard, it's in its infancy. I, I don't know. I worry about Toku. Because, like, I checked on their YouTube... And they were like, oh, this airs at 6.30, which I guess arguably you could say that it gets added to the service at 6.30, maybe. Yeah. Or, on you know, wherever you can get it, whatever your local affiliate could potentially carry it, right. uh, they carry it at 6.30. But again, not many do. Very, very, very few do. And, you know, I mean, look, I get it. Uh, they're a new channel, so they need uh, syndicated content that's cheap. And yeah. not cheaply made, but, like, just cheap to, you know, purchase rather than make their own full-on content. Right. That's another, yeah. thing, that's another thing, too, I worry about, too. Like, in the future, when they've moved on from the content, will we still have it? Right. When they don't need it anymore? It's like, I know it's funny, Matt, it's called Toku. But they don't <laughs> just have Toku on there. They're branding themselves as a live-action Japanese. So they're trying to open yeah. up their market as much as possible. It's just that Toku is also on there. Right. So they're not branded as, oh, no, no, we only have Toku. No, they have l Japanese live-action shows and movies as well. Uh, it's just that they're called Toku for some reason. I mean, maybe they do love Toku, right? But, uh, but yeah, so before we wrap things up, uh, what's your take on this, Tristan? Do you, do you, I, I don't know if you were looking it up in the background. I'm assuming you can't get it. Uh, yeah, so I don't your, think so. Yeah, so what's, um, your, what's your take on this? Good, I mean, but... I, I like I like the idea of having a channel for Toku mm. series and yeah. I just I don't know how much this will gain steam really because I mean I, I haven't heard of it until now and I'm not sure if you you heard of it previously or seen it advertised. I, so basically, I had to. I've only seen it advertised or not advertised. That's a very bad way to put it. I've only see it uh, seen it through articles on two different websites, one being a Toku exclusive website, one being uh, the website that we usually use for our stories, Anime News Network. I've only seen it there, and I've passed up on it because we've talked about other... So it was, if it was between me talking about Toku and me talking about Garo being released on Blu-ray, I went for Garo, right? Right. So I, we have passed up the story, but this is one of those where I was like, I'm not going to pass up the story this time. I do want to talk about Toku. And yeah. I want to say that I wish Toku can succeed, right? I'm not right. anyway saying that Toku shouldn't succeed, both as a as a fran both as uh, as a genre and as a channel slash streaming service. I just worry about uh, not streaming services. I worry about streaming services under Amazon. Right. That's really what it is. I think as someone who's a fan of both anime and Toku, Amazon has kind of burned me mm. with that. So, I, I get a little nervous. I think that's just really what it is. I get nervous, right. you know? And as everyone knows, watching our uh, those guys play videos, I'm a nervous man. I get, I, I'm, I'm paranoid a little bit, just a little bit. So I do, you know, I do sit back and I'm like, you know, oh God, I hope these files will exist forever. And I know streaming isn't forever, but as close as forever as we can get, rather than, you know, a year. Right. Right. Uh, I hope I hope we have Toku uh, with working with Amazon for longer than a year. That's what I'll say. Um, although I will say, Drama Fever is doing pretty well. That's a drama, a dorama, some call it, just a Japanese J drama exclusive service. So that channel is doing well for them. Right. So I mean, it's not like this can't. Yeah. It's just, you know, I hope Amazon takes their. The same approach it seems like they've been taking for everything else, which is more of a laid-back approach, rather than the approach they tried to take for their anime service, which was, you know, a kind of, we're going to get things just for us, yeah. no one else can get them, and we're going to pay so much money just so that only we can get them, we then have to charge you a premium right. on top of our service. It's, right, yeah. And it's kind of like, no. So I hope they kind of keep this laid-back approach because it might work. Right. You know? Um, but yeah, so 
Either way, I just want to thank you all so much for watching as always. If you're watching this through YouTube, please remember to like and subscribe if you like the video. If you don't like the video, you can still like and subscribe either way. If you want to comment about the story at all or about how much you love and or most likely hate us, you can also do that in the comments below as well. If you do it, if you're listening to this through our Blog Talk Radio account, which is blogtalkradio.com slash those guys on the radio, then you can totally talk about how much you despise us there as well. And you can also follow us there as well to get all of our podcast content. We have a bunch of other stuff. We don't just do Kikaku Corner. We have Friday Night Movies. We have Anna Saturday. We have occasionally Monday Night Movies. We have TV Tuesdays. We have Star Wars Wednesdays, Doctor Who Wednesdays. And we have a bunch of other content as well. Uh, and also, by the way, you can get some of that content, the archived versions, and some of the new episodes as well on our Those Guys on the Radio YouTube channel. Also, if you want to watch Tristan and I and a bunch of other hosts do fun Let's Plays and other gaming-related videos, both in the Tokusatsu realm as well as in the anime realm, and a bunch of other types of games as well, you can go over to our Those Guys Play YouTube channel and check us out there. Also, I do you know tutorial videos and do-it-yourself stuff and a bunch of other uh, interesting, call it interesting content. Uh, speaking to my paranoid nature, I open up uh, older video game cartridges to see if they're real. Because sometimes you end up, you might be a video game collector. No, just straight up open them up and be like, are you legit? Because Is the re- game actually in here? No. Not that, actually. <laughs> you see, he's not a game collector. So he doesn't know. As people who are game collectors, even mildly, uh, yeah, when know. you buy I'm- games... No, I know, I know you know, but you don't know. Like, when you buy a game, you can be like, wow, this is such a great steal. Why? What did mm-hmm. I... What's going on? And you open up the game, and it's completely legit. Right? Nothing wrong, completely real. But you get a little nervous sometimes. So I've opened up some cards with you guys. I've also gotten Tristan on to actually do What's in a Box. Where, if you remember What's in a Box, Tristan, that was, that was interesting. Oh, I remember What's in a Box. Yeah, you remember What's in a Box. Uh, where we put different gaming consoles in the box and then someone comes in to put their hands in the box and they're just like, hey, what is this? Because you don't know what it is when you're... I know what it is, but you don't. And the fans even know when they're watching, but you don't know. Uh, anyway, so um, so a bunch of different gaming content there. Also, we have our TG Productions YouTube channel as well where you can go there and we can just... Uh, you can kind of see a lot of different uh, fun little skits that we do, be it with anime dubbing and, and really strange esoteric stuff. Uh, and also we have our we also our Patreon as well, which is patreon.com slash GG Productions. You can donate to us there, depending though on what you what tier you donate to, quote unquote donate. Um, really you can either look at it as a tip jar or basically saying, hey, here's a dollar. Thank you so much for what you do, which hey, thanks. Or you can look at it as an express line because we do so much via our podcasts and our Let's Plays and our other types of content that sometimes certain things fall to the wayside, right? So if, you know, there's someone out there who says, I really loved when Matt and Tristan played X game, right? Whatever that game is. Uh, You can basically say, I want you guys to play it again. And depending on what tier you give to, you can actually say, here, do, you know, do it now. And we'll do it now, right? Or you can talk about different podcasts, like, hey, uh, we would like you to do, you know, someone could say, we would like you to do, um, you know, a, a certain top five video instead of a review, or a review on this episode of this show, uh, or this season of this show. Or even when it comes to Kikaku Corner, you can help us kind of mold what news we talk about week to week. So that's fun as well. Uh, and you can even become a sponsor for the show. So you can basically have us give you shout outs with every Kikaku Corner episode or clip and every single um, the, you know, Let's Play, depending on not even what tier you're donating to, but what um, you know, channel you're looking at or what series you're looking at. Um, also want to mention that you can get some cool merchandise like the kind that I'm wearing over at our main website, which is teachingproduction.net slash merchandise, or over at our eBay, ebay.com slash USR slash those guys radio, and follow everything we do, and I mean everything we do, via our, I mentioned our main website, teachingproduction.net, or our Facebook, which is slash those guys in the radio, or our Twitter, which is at those guys radio. Thank you all so much. I love you guys. And also today, our sponsors are fake sponsors. Fake sponsors. Oh. They can sponsor you too, if you just say it. Oh, Tristan, did you, you think really that really people... had me going for a oh, second. Oh, I'm so sorry, Tristan. No, I'm so... <laughs> I actually am, because I, I feel really bad. Uh, but, but we don't have to have fake sponsors. We could have you. So go check out our Patreon today, patreon.com slash TG Productions. I, I winked, and then I couldn't talk. 
You didn't see that, Tristan, but they did. I, I winked and I couldn't. Anyway, see you guys.